May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day and New Comic Book Day, right? Let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for checking out my comic closet. I'm Lynn. It is May the 4th, which is Star Wars Day. And it just happens to be New Comic Book Day this year. So I'm going to get this thing done. It is actually May the 4th right now, but it's like 10 o'clock. Because I was going to try to shoot this earlier this morning, but I didn't get it done. And I went to my LCS town corner and... Um, Picked up my new free comic books, and then I went to another store, which is near me, Comic City. So I'm gonna show what I did. Pick up on when was it? Yeah, May 1st, May Day. I'm gonna show the books that I picked up at my LCS Comics Corner, and then I'm gonna show the books I picked up today for New Comic Book Day, and then I'll talk about what I got up here because it's Star Wars Day. I'll try to get this done pretty quick, and then I've got a couple other videos I need to do. I still got. Stuff I picked up from two different shows over the last couple weeks. I want to show the stuff I picked up from the Detroit comic book and toy show. And I also picked up some stuff from the Dawn of the Collector show, which was on the 20th, I think, right? So I'm going to show that in a video coming up. And I also have a couple boxes of signed books I need to open and show. So I'm going to try to get those done too in upcoming videos. First, I'm going to show you that there are some shows coming up. Actually, I'm going to go to a show tomorrow which is the Knights Hall show on Cinco de Mayo. And last time I went, I won a couple of nice raffle prizes. But I'm going to show that there is this one coming out at the Livonia Elks Hall, same place where the Knights Hall is. The Collector's Pop Culture Show, Toys and Comic Books, Sunday, December 1st, 2024. So we'll talk about that more as it gets closer. See if I'll be able to make it to that because it's hunting season. And then this one coming up is the Monroe Comic Con, September 13th and 14th, which is at the FMB Expo Center in Monroe, Michigan. Comic, art, toys, cosplay, celebrity guests. Well, it shows Clint Howard, Linda Young, I'm not sure that is, and Tom Morga. And they got a whole list of guests, so we'll go through that more as it gets closer to that time. September 13th and 14th. A bad weekend for me. Opening day for the small game season. I'm usually up in the early part of the fall trying to get set up for deer hunting. And then there is the, of course, Motor City Comic Con coming up. May 17th through the 19th, 2024. At the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi, Michigan. Say that William Shatner's gonna be there. Katie Sackhoff, Ernie Hudson. Karen Allen, Carla Gugino. So we'll talk about that more coming up. It's a couple weeks away. Next week, I need to make a video showing stuff I'm going to take. And then there's this one that I just I picked up. There was a great big booth at the Detroit um, comic book show from this place, theheroesonline.com. Theheroesonline.com, hashtag HeroesCon. But this is in, I think, Charlotte, North Carolina. June 14th through the 16th. And I know a lot of people were talking about going to that. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to that. But there's also the Dawn of the Collector shows coming up. On, um, I'm not sure where the next one is there. But you can see it right there. I'll put a little arrow towards it. One in St. Clair Shores is coming up soon. And then there's also the one in um, Plymouth. Plymouth, Michigan. So a lot of shows coming up. But anyway, so... I'm going to show the books I picked up from Comic Corner. Before we do that, though, <laughs> I think we ought to do the dad joke. So, see what I got here. Just a little sip, just to get in the mood. Ah, my bad. I'm going to pull a card right off the top of this deck. I haven't looked at any of them yet. I shuffled them up when I first got them. My wife got me these. Totally embarrassing dad joke cards on, um, for Christmas. So, I'm just reading them cold. I haven't even looked at them. So here we go. Oh, 
Where can you buy secondhand cheese? Brie Bay. My daughter might like that. Her name's Brie. What kind of what kind of exercise do lazy people do? Diddly squats. And what do you call flying cheeses? Curds of prey. Ah! 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 So, totally embarrassing dad jokes. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you think about that. I'm going to keep doing them. I run out of cards, so whatever. Anyway, check out um, Amp Comics Cleaner. Get your book clean and pressed. Go to his Instagram page. Message him if you're in the southeastern Michigan area. Um, I've got 10 or 11 books. I think it was 11 books I dropped off a couple weeks ago. When I get them back, I hope to send them in. It was my Submariner 1 and uh, a couple other some pretty cool books. I have to look at my list now. I showed in a video a couple weeks ago. So anyway. I did pick this box up today, the Helverine box. If you haven't seen that series, that's a pretty crazy looking um, art. So it's, oh, I don't know what I got here. Okay, let me get set up here and I'll show these books. Much, much later. All right, so now I wanna show the books I picked up from my LCS Comic Corner on May 1st, 2024. New comic book day. I always pick up when I see them sitting by the counter. These are free. The DC Connects advertisement for DC books. I think it's for the um, oh, Absolute Power storyline, which I know nothing about. I don't really collect much DC. So I'm clueless. I'm clueless on that part, but I also picked up this. Blood Hunt 1. Do you think I grabbed this off of the Marvel Rack? This wasn't in my pull box, but I heard it's going to be uh, supposed to be kind of a big story. So, and then I also grabbed this other copy of Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is a variant cover, different variant cover. I guess there are like six variant covers. I didn't realize. Put these over here. All right, so those are books that I picked up that weren't in my pull box. But these are the books that were in my pull box. We got this Moon Knight number five, very dark cover. Looks like Moon Knight's got a black costume. I need to get caught up. I like Moon Knight. And then there's this Immortal Thor, number 10. I don't look like he's fighting. Um, oh, what was the character Carl Urban played? The Executioner, right? I think, I'm not sure. Anyway, and then this is X-Men 34, follow X storyline. Cool looking cover. Not sure who the artist is, Dugan says or something. Anyway, and then this is Invincible Iron Man number 18. Oh, Magneto cover, the Magneto. Kind of cool. And then this is Incredible Hulk. Number 12. Looks like he's trapped inside some kind of a torture device, maybe. Hard to catch the Hulk. They got him there. And then I got this. Not sure if this was in my pull box or if I grab this off the side. Get Fury number one. Actually, I think this was sitting up by the cash register at the counter. And I grabbed it. Get Fury. I got a lot of you know Nick Fury stuff. I have all the Nick Fury Mac stuff. Some crazy stuff they have there. 
So that was all the Marvel stuff that I get in my pull box. Almost everything I get is Marvel. Except for a couple books like this. Image. King Spawn number 33. Not sure who's doing the art there now. Big McFarlane fan. Especially his art. I know his writing wasn't always the greatest, but. And I also get this Walking Dead Deluxe number 88. Which I put in a big mylar for whatever reason. Looks cool. Oh, actually, this is another book I. Oh, okay, these are. Okay, this is another book I picked up off of the like movie rack. It says Sumerian Publishing. And this is The Fog, number three. I picked up the first two issues of this. I love the movie. I love, I love John Carpenter stuff. You know, Halloween came out when I was 17 or something. And it was a pretty scary movie at the time. I think it probably still is. But this is The Fog, which was kind of a pretty scary movie at the time. And I've, I know they've redone it. I think I did see the redo. But anyway, that's The Fog. That's another book I picked up off of the, not the, not the good rack, like movie rack, monster rack. So now these are the books that I did pick up from the discerning reader rack. So I think all these books I did pick up are number one issues. The Whisper Queen, number one, which actually it says it's a sequel to The White Trees, a black sand tale, which I've never heard of. Then I had some interesting art. So that was the number one issue, Whisper Queen. I grabbed it for content. Oh, and I've grabbed, I've been grabbing a lot of these. Um, Barbaric, this is Barbaric number one, which looks like it's maybe, I don't know, as a little kid. I'm not sure what's going on with Barbaric. I haven't really read all of them. I read a couple of them. I know that the, um, I think actually the ax is Barbaric and it talks to the warrior. So anyway. I haven't read any of the later ones, but I grab all the barbaric stuff, and it's from Vault Comics, Vault Publishing. And then I grab this one, the last one of it, which just, I thought was a cool looking cover, which is an image book called Bear, Pirate, Viking, Queen. It's got a cool bear cover. I love bears. I go to the bear festival. This is my bear festival hat, actually. I got a button on my on well, my little bag from the Bear Festival. Every year I go to the Curran Bear Festival in Curran, Michigan, the Black Bear Festival. It's the Black Bear capital of Michigan. Curran is the biggest Black Bear ever killed was killed in Curran, Michigan. And I have a cabin about 12 miles away. I've seen some pretty big bears in my area too. But anyway, I don't know what this is about yet. Cool looking book. So I picked it up. All right, so now let's get on to um, the books I picked up from Free Comic Book Day. You know what? I'll spin this around so you get the other side of it. There you go. Hope you can see that. I'm going to spin this around. I messed that up, didn't I? I'll fix it. Give me one second. Let me get that on there. All right, so hope you can see all that. I hope it all works out good here. Let's try this again. It's gonna keep on hitting my camera. I've already screwed up once again. This was also in my pull box that I missed. It was shoved in, and I put everything in my box here, and it got mixed up. Wolverine, Deadpool, Wolverine, World War III, number one, which I grabbed the graphic box with this art on it, was it two weeks ago, I guess? Maybe three weeks ago. So yeah, I need to go through that and put all my Wolverine stuff, actually all my Deadpool stuff, I think I'm gonna put in there. But anyway, now these are the books that I picked up on free comic book day, which actually, okay, I'll save those for the end. So, and yes, this was in my 
pull box, but it was mixed in with my free comics there. So that was one of the other books. It was in my pull box. Deadpool with Wolverine, World War Three, which is funny because I just bought this the other day at the um, whichever show I was at. I showed the other day, which is Dead Wolverine and Deadpool, which I think is a reprint of some X Force stories. It's got like the lira or euro pricing, so I think it's something foreign. You know, foreign book I bought. I think I bought it for five bucks or four bucks. So, all right. So that's Deadpool, Wolverine, World War Three that I picked up on New Comic Book Day, May 1st, with all my other books. So today I picked up these books, which are the free comic books. And I'm going to show the ones I picked up at actually Comic City, which is in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Not my, not where I have my pull box, but I do go there occasionally. It's a little closer to my, than Comic Corner. But the first thing, when you first walked in, they had a guy sitting there. I don't think I got a picture. There was a guy dressed up as Spider-Man. But they had, a, they had a lot of business, and I didn't buy anything there because there was a big line. I was trying to get back out of there. But anyway, so I got this, which is um, the Marvel previews, the free previews book, which um, shows you what's coming up. And I think this is the Blood Hunt storyline still, right? Well, from the ashes, a new beginning. So I'm not sure. That's the same story. But anyway, this is, yeah, the Marvel free previews. Oh, yeah, art by Ryan Stegman, it looks like. And then I, of course, picked up, <laughs> I saw this. I used to buy these all the time, which is a Mad Magazine. That's Mad Magazine in a comic book form. I looked through it a little bit. It actually even has the fold up rear page, you know, the back page where you folded it up to make a different picture. And it's just like a regular old Mad Magazine, which I found when I was going through my stuff today. I found these in a collection that I picked up a couple years ago. A bunch of old Mad Magazines. There were several magazines in there. George Washington one. Mad Super Special. Jaws. If it stays. They had lowers its price. And that's it. So anyway, yeah, I had these old Mad Magazines. I had, I used to read Mad Magazine all the time when I was a kid. They all, I had a lot of them, but of course they all got torn up. So anyway, this is a new Mad Magazine with Superman. Got he already wearing his costume. And actually I asked the guy at Comics Corner what were some of the hot books, and which he said, he told me a couple of them. One of them he did say, which I didn't pick up at Comics Corner was this, for whatever reason, Snoopy, Beagle Scout Adventures. Which I looked inside of this one and it was just, it's actual just peanuts strips. You know, like you used to see in the old books, like the little books or comic books. But it said this is the 50th anniversary of the Beagle Scouts. Which I don't know what that is, I never realized it, but it said Snoopy started the Beagle Scouts in 1974. And it also has like a list of camping checklist for maybe like for kids, you know. It's like, I guess a kind of a kid's book. So anyway, I grabbed that. I mean, we all love Snoopy, right? Charlie Brown. I've been watching Charlie Brown since I was a kid. And then I grabbed this. Because at this store, you can only get three. Three books. So I grabbed this Conan, Battle of the Bloodstone. Which is a Titan publishing. So, when I just thought it was some cool looking art. I didn't recognize the name. Zub and Sharp. I think Zub was a writer and Sharp was the, the um, artist. But it must be new. But it's a pretty cool looking cover. So anyway, and then I went first. Actually, this was after I went to this and picked these up. But first I had gone to Comics Corner. And they had, well, they had a guy set up outside that was selling books. And I actually bought one of the books he was selling. His name was Brian, Brian Lau, L-A-U. And the interior artist, Erwin Arosa. But this cover is done by Clayton Crane. And um, Brian Lau, there's his Instagram page. If you want to follow him, he sells music. Well, he sells music to this book that goes with this book, he said. I haven't contacted him back. We just exchanged information. 
But um, so I bought this book from him, Inferno City Firehouse, which is um about Detroit firefighters. He's the front page has a dedication to his grandfather. I forget his name now, but he was a Detroit firefighter. So anyway, I bought this book from him for fifteen dollars, and he actually signed it down here, Brian Lau. So if you see these, check them out. He's a local Michigan guy. Then I also picked up, of course, for the new comic books, I got this Blood Hunt 1, which I heard is supposed to be a pretty big um, story. And just had it, I thought. Oh. I bought the first issue of it here. This is actually the, the actual book. This is but I one, and this is actually, I believe, Ryan Stegman art. So this is a different cover here. It's a different artist. That's the actual Blood Hunt One issue. That's a Blood Hunt One free comic book day edition. And then this is the other book I asked um, I can't the guy's name that was you know at the store. What seemed like the hot books, and he said the Transformers book. So I grabbed this. Which isn't actually Transformers, it's um Energon Universe. But that's a Ryan Otley cover, which is awesome. And an image book, Energon Universe, Ryan Otley for cover art and interior art on the Transformer stories. And then there's a um Void Rivals story, which is written by Kirkman. And art by can't read my own writing here. But De Fel Felici, and there's a G.I. Joe story written by Jason William, Jason Williamson, and then Jason Howard Art. So, I just thought, yeah, it does have a cool cover, Ryan Otley cover, and I don't know, the guy suggested it, I didn't really know why, and then I always grab Spider-Man if I see it. This is Spider-Man Ultimate Universe. I don't know if I wrote anything on that. Oh, that's got a Ryan Stegman cover also on it. But she does some awesome art. If you look, I saw the um, his signature's on there. She always draws a little stegosaurus. It was like a simple sketch. But then, of course, since it was New Comic Book Day and Star Wars Day, may the fourth be with you, I grabbed this Star Wars Number one free comic book with the split cover, Darth Vader and um, Luke Skywalker there. And I saw this was um, Phil Noto cover art. So those were the free comics I picked up at Comic Corner. You could have four books at Comic Corner, only three at Comic City. They're on a, you know, they're more in town, more in like toward Pontiac. It's called Bluefield Hills. But I think maybe they were expecting a bigger crowd. They actually did have a little bit bigger crowd, but there were a lot of people at Comics Corner. But also at Comics Corner, I grabbed this other variant cover of The Creature from the Black Lagoon Lives. And I love The Creature from the Black Lagoon, the original movie. I grabbed this one about a couple weeks ago, which is a different variant cover. Let me look here. Does it say which cover it is? But there are like six covers. I also have um, the first issue, cover A, which I didn't see. I couldn't find it. I was trying to dig it up here, but I got to get this done. There's a picture of it here. And then there's another cover. I don't know if it was this one. There's a sketch cover. Then there's a different cover by someone. And then there's a Frank Miller cover, a sketch cover, which is like the classic. It's just just a pencil drawing looking at a classic where the creature's reaching up for the girl. So, I would like to find that. I'm going to a show tomorrow. I'm going to try to maybe look for that. But, that is everything that I picked up on New Comic Book Day. Or, on Free Comic Book Day. May 4th. Which is also Star Wars Day. I also bought this Helverine box. Wolverine combined with Ghost Rider. So, let me reset up here. 
and we'll go through the stuff I have here for Star Wars Day. Later. All right, I'm reset up here. I, of course, this is a free comic book day, Star Wars number one that I just showed that I picked up on free comic book day. And I'm just going to show some of the other Star Wars stuff I have. I went and I just actually picked this up at Target. You can get these at Target. I think it was like 12 bucks. There was like 10 for 20 percent discount or something for Star Wars Day, I guess, for Star Wars stuff. I picked up a couple of new shirts. The other one I'll be wearing in probably my next video because it pertains to one of the books I've got. But I was going to show the books I have up here, which are both my Star Wars books, the bigger Star Wars books that I have. I don't have a big Star Wars collection. Mostly I collect Marvel, you know, superhero stuff. But those are actually Star Wars number one, which this is actually older. This is um, Marvel's special edition Star Wars number one and Star Wars number two, which are the original representation, you know, of the movie. And then there, that is actually just kind of a, the same book. The first one is just, uh, I think it's the Whitman reprint. The second one over there is the actual original reprint which has got the reprint in the little sidebar now this is Star Wars 2 which I think that is not the reprint that's the original Star Wars 2 and then this is the Whitman reprint which they're both the same cost they're I think the Whitman was a little bit better shape this is Star Wars 3 which is um, this is a reprint of Star Wars 3 and this is the original Star Wars 3 first print and this is Star Wars 36 because I happen to find it <laughs> I have a I have a few other Star Wars in a box somewhere but I didn't dig them all up and this is actually Star Wars 107 which is the final issue of the run so then I have well these are the new modern Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Darth Vader War of the Bounty Hunters Dr. Aphra and just War of the Bounty Hunters with um Boba Fett I think on the cover right and Darth Vader. And then this is my only Star Wars slab. Star Wars The High Republic number two, which is just a virgin cover. And um, I bought it on whatnot. I don't know why. I must have got a good deal. I was bidding and nobody else was or something because I wouldn't have paid a whole lot. But it's a cool Yoda. But I'm not even sure who the other characters are because I was into the original Star Wars. Star Wars came out, what, 77? I was a junior in high school. Actually, I was a senior, too, in 77. No, 78. Yeah, 77, 78. I graduated in 78. But anyway, so these are Star Wars books I have. I also have this backpack. They had Darth Vader on the front of it that I bought at a garage sale for a dollar, but it's in really good shape. And it's funny because if you unzip the Darth Vader... I have a Darth Vader. Should I say you put it here? Oh. Luke, I am your father. That's not what he says. Actually, but stupid stuff I have. Stormtrooper. That was the Spencer. Right there. I don't know where I got that. I think I got that as a gift. A couple of cards. I have to get some pictures of these. Chewbacca card. Which this is a promo card. Probably came out of a wizard magazine. And then this is another promo card for Return of the Jedi. Jabba the Hutt card with... I forget that dude's name now. But this is advertising for the movie. Before the movie came out. And I have this. I bought so it's a little notebook that's Star Wars. There's a lot of paper on the inside, but it's got a nice, actually, has, I like the original movie poster on the front. And there's the full poster on the back. It's, I think I bought it at a garage sale for like a buck. I also have this one. This is um, the Lando Calrissian. Check that actually is. But it's a blank cover. I was going to have Billy D. Williams sign it, but... He was charging a lot of money at the Motor City Comic Con. But this is what the actual cover looks like. That is actually the one underneath. It's a blank cover. Well, these are a couple of other of the modern. 
least at least more recent Star Wars books, Star Wars High Republic, which I got a bunch of those I think in like the Walmart packs over there. This is Star Wars Dark Droids number three. Which just that was probably in one of the Walmart packs too because I don't really buy much Star Wars. And then this is probably one of my coolest Star Wars books, which this is um. Wizard one half Star Wars Boba Fett, which is a cool book. Got the um, certificate of authenticity, certificate of authenticity with it, which comes with it. I ordered these, you know, I have like, oh, I think I have pretty much the whole wizard run. I was looking through all my wizard books. I couldn't find one of them that had a Star Wars cover. But anyway, and this is actually in the wizard, um, bag if you see I found when I found this I had this book put in a binder all my wizard one halves and the wizard zero was I think a Deadpool wizard zero but if you see this is actually a wizard bag I have several of these I don't know if they're ever gonna be worth anything but it's kind of cool that I have this book still in it or I can put it back in it for display purposes everything I got for Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And New Comic Book Day on May 4th, 2024. So appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get some subscribers going here. I'm at 224, I believe. And I'm trying to get to 250 to do a giveaway. So once I get to the giveaway, I give away some kind of a slab. A 9 8 slab. So I'm going to figure out what that is. Plus, I got other stuff. I mean, I'll make a, some kind of a little package to give out for my 250th subscriber giveaway coming up as soon as you subscribe and get your friends. So, anyway, appreciate you checking me out here in my comics closet where we bring comics and comic collecting right out of the closet. So, thank you.